the world of Huawei's Pura 70 Ultra, a device that DxOMark has hailed as the world's top camera phone. We've already created a detailed video about the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra, which you can check out in the description or the iCard. The Pura 70 series is the latest flagship offering from Huawei. It's significant because it embodies self-reliance, with most components sourced from China. A teardown analysis of the Pura 70 Pro reveals a new NAND flash memory storage chip and a sophisticated chip processor, likely products of Huawei's chip division, High Silicon. Despite the impact of US sanctions, Huawei's resilience is evident in the Pura 70 series. The Mate 60 series, powered by the China-made Kirin 9000 processor, played a crucial role in this resurgence. While Huawei has faced accusations of close ties with the Chinese government, they have refuted these allegations and continue to see a rise in phone sales. Launched in April 2024, the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra has earned the highest overall camera score of 163 in DxOMark's rankings. It offers superior image quality performance in a variety of photo-taking scenarios. The device also provides a top-tier photo zoom experience, creating natural, smooth, blurry effects in portraits. However, DxOMark has pointed out minor issues with video recordings. In conclusion, the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra has established a new standard in mobile photography. If you're passionate about photography, this could be the perfect device for you. The Pura 70 Pro incorporates more locally sourced components than previous Huawei phones. However, it doesn't quite match up to current flagship models, particularly in terms of chipset performance. The Pura 70 Pro is equipped with the Kirin 9210 chip, manufactured using the SMIC 7nm node, known as N plus 2. Although it outperforms the Kirin 9000S slightly, it remains a 7mm SoC, trailing behind the market leaders. SMIC is anticipated to transition to 5mm technology soon, but achieving commercial production volumes will take time. Meanwhile, TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, is already developing two nanometer nodes, underscoring the gap in process refinement. The Pura 70 Pro's chipset shows a performance improvement of just under 10% compared to its predecessor. However, it still lags behind by over 30% when compared to a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, as seen in the latest Android flagships. The Pura 70 Pro features 1T by NAND flash memory, likely designed and manufactured by another local company. Huawei offers 1T by storage variants only in China, while overseas markets have 256 GB or 512 GB options. The 12 GB RAM is supplied by SK Hynix, a South Korean company affected by trade restrictions. Huawei stockpiled memory chips before the sanctions, but high demand for the Mate 60 and Pura 70 phones is depleting these stocks. Huawei may rely on CXMT, Changsin Memory Technologies, a Chinese DRAM fab. However, DRAM production also relies on EUV-made chips, presenting another challenge for Huawei's competitiveness. That's a brief overview of the Pura 70 series. What are your thoughts? Please share in the comments below. If you found this review helpful or want more smartphone reviews, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more exciting content. If you have any questions or want to see specific features in action, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Until next time, tech aficionados.